morning, Nadine. Good morning, Jean-David. Thank you for welcoming me and Albert Bichot uh, in the Hospice de Bonne Rhinely. Uh, one week after the start of Harvest 2021. Yes. First easy question and nice question, how are you doing? Uh, thank you. I'm fine. I'm really fine. We are, we've almost finished uh, the harvest time. Uh, I think we're going to finish uh, tomorrow. We have the okay. 24th today. So, um, so well, everything is OK. Thank you. Good. Um, we'll come back on this very special vintage, mm -hmm. uh, which started like today under a bright sun. <laughs> but, but yeah, the, we need to, to go a little bit uh, before. Um, well, the vintage started with a, a sort of heat wave uh, end of March. And to me, it was a, the really important point to mention this year because at this time, all the vegetation uh, started, all the birds, not only in the vineyard, but also on all, all the trees. And um, after that, we got this uh, frost uh, time, three really difficult nights, but not only at minus one or two, very much cooler than that, minus seven or minus, minus eight. And, so that, like uh, a black winter frost? Exactly, true, like more winter frost than spring one. And uh, it was really difficult because we, we lost a lot of our Chardonnay that had started first. And then we were expecting for the Pinot Noir and the entire vegetation to start again. So it took a little bit, it took uh, one month almost. Mm. So it was playing with our nerves, uh, really. And uh, after that, it was just like a stop in the vineyard. Nothing happened since one month and after that everything started again even really intensively in the vineyard uh, so we had a rather cool and rainy uh, spring and beginning of summer uh, sort of normal time in August and wonderful September, September which is really important in Burgundy as we used to have before okay we'll come back on the uh, like this hot season through yes. summer with a lot of humidity fungus disease pressure yeah. how did you cope with that well we had the particularity of this year is that we had both mildew and oidium uh, these two fungus uh, are usually separated either you remember a vintage because you got one or you remember because you got the other one but um, this year we had the two of them and the other around either we had one or we had the other so it was um, hard to how to, to organize the treatments. Uh, we are not in bio, but making like bio. Like organic? So, yeah, like organic, sorry. And um, it, it meant for us to go to the vineyard at least once a week, sometimes more, uh, because after a rainy day, uh, you have to go back because it's only contact products. So you need to protect the, the berries, the, the fruit, the leaves. So it was like a really intense and really um, uh, tricky moment at the, at the vineyards. Okay, and then the end of the cycle. So we had this very beneficial wind from mid-August as well, uh, yeah. which dried out everything. And then the, the question of maturity, the, the sanitary state of the grape as well? Yeah, the, the balance between uh, the sanitary state of the crop, the weather, the sanitary pressure as well, um, was part of the deal to manage to get to the right decision to start the harvest. Uh, basically, we had a nice time for flowering, so we knew we had some fruit. The challenge was to do everything to save them all along the weeks before to harvest, even the summer. So it was not the point to miss the, the rendezvous the with the harvest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was a, a really compromise between the weather, the, the maturity itself, and the sanitary uh, condition into the vineyard. Okay. So crossing the three elements, we decided to start on the 17th. On the 17th, okay. In terms of like, key parameters of acidity, sugar levels, what do you feel right now? Uh, well, we, when we taste the juice, uh, both in whites and reds, there are a lot of flavors, so that's a good point. Uh, we have nice level of acidity. I used to say like Burgundian uh, return. <laughs> we are back to Burgundy with the acidity. And um, the level of sugar is rather very good. We are at the equivalent on alcohol. It would be around 12.1 to 12.5 or okay. 6, sorry, okay. between both. So it, that's a great surprise because we could have expect a little bit less. Less than that. Yes, so it means that the, the ripeness happened and uh, that we probably were right in going and, and pick the grapes when okay. we went. Okay, so it, it smells quite good in the winery, yeah. uh, <laughs> which is a good thing. On the other hand, one, one of the bad things is the total yield of the, and the output. 
probably one of the lowest vintage ever at the hospice? I think it is the lowest vintage uh, at the hospice and even that I've known so far. Um, that's why we we give a lot of we take a lot of care uh, uh, on the on the grapes and you, you you've seen the sorting out table yeah that's one thing i was about to mention that you know what surprised me you know looking at the way that the team was working mm. how careful they were yeah. The sorting table was running really Slow, slowly, yeah. like a very haute couture yeah. approach. It, I think to me, it's, I think it could be one of the really secret points to, to manage to get to a nice, uh, nice um, wine making this year. Um, another part of it will, will be that probably uh, the winemaker, the enologist, will have to to go and pick some uh, can be a technical vintage. Technical vintage. Yeah. To me, it's a really technical one. It has been a technical since the beginning. Since the beginning. So, yeah. so I think it will be up to the end. And this carries on until, until the end of I, I think so. It's a bit too early because we only, uh, we're still on cold maceration on the reds and the whites are just starting to ferment. So, but this is the kind of feeling I can, I can have. I can so expect. Far. Okay, we'll come back after the vinification to, to check yeah, that. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> One thing, you know, the hospice auction is on the 21st of November, so less than two months from now. Yes. Um, and obviously it's a, a big event. Uh, a lot of pressure as well, but one thing I like to speak very quickly about is this auction within the auction, the charity barrel. Yes. And I know the cause that will be uh, promoted this year is really also really dear to your heart. Can yes. You tell me did. just a bit more. Uh, yes, it is important because uh, the institution, the Hospice de Bonne, made the choice to focus on women cause, uh, including uh, probably several uh, associations or foundations we don't really know now. But uh, the, the symbol, the, the current as well new news and uh, situation worldwide uh, could really uh, explain uh, the decision that was made. So okay. women will be uh, on, the, on, the on the spotlight. spotlight uh, like Giga Anderson yeah. was on the spotlight when she created yes, this kind of yes, tribute to her. <laughs> I think it could be dedicated to Giga Anderson as well because the link definitely is eternal. Okay, excellent. Well, we'll come back on that later. I'm waiting for you. Thank you very much, Bye-bye.